Okay, thank you very much for joining us in this live session. We'll begin straight away with uh, SOS Limited. As we can see, SM SOS is up 1.33% currently. Uh, let's check the pre-market and the post-market boxes to see what's going on graphically. So this is what's going on. Momentum is improving. We had a an extension here that reached up to five point three six nine nine dollars. So nothing very volatile is going on right now for SOS. So we will try and see if we can get any more information, any if there's any news for SOS, any official news. Okay, so yeah, still about a lawsuit. This is uh, against Berman National Trial Tonys. Uh, so April fifth, or just SOS Limited investors to okay. This is the, about the latest concerning SOS. This is SOS stock. SOS stock is both way overvalued and too high risk to take a chance. SOS stock is a legitimate investment but doesn't mean it's a good one here. Crypto mining stocks are the net beneficiaries of, uh, of the amazing Bitcoin bull run that sh shows no sign of stopping. However, one however one that often gets lost in the shuffle is SOS Limited. The company mined its first Bitcoin at the end of February and investors are now betting big that they may have the multi-bagger on their hands. However, a word of caution. Although the company is installing crypto mining machines rapidly, we still need to see some solid fundamentals to justify SOS Limited stock rising more than 250% year to date. In March, it installed its second fleet of 5,000 crypto mining rigs, bringing total capacity to 353 peta hashes per hour for mining Bitcoin and 707 giga hashes per second for mining Ethereum. For the first quarter, the company expects to generate at least 41 Bitcoins and 109 Ethereum. But the important thing to note here is that it will need to continue building capacity. SOS remains heavily dependent on crypto prices to remain stable or rise in the foreseeable future. The company has also issued a lot of equity recently to fuel its expansion, considering SOS needs to build, needs to keep building capacity investors should get used to though these dilutive equities okay they don't seem to be pointing or having any reference to the lawsuit this is just as recent as april 12th today april 12th so um yeah you would expect them to have something to say concerning the lawsuit but there isn't any there that's fascinating so So, uh, okay, it's currently up 1.33%. So we just go ahead and look at WHLM. Wilhelmina International is up 
It has uh, RBV Investments that has uh, recently come to acquire some of its shares, and for some reason, I wouldn't say for for some reason, but it this REV uh, Ventures keeps on uh, buying the stock when the price would have, uh, or rather, based on two instances, it has done so. It has. An agreement to buy around 50,000 shares of Wilhelmina, which will be close to 20% of the company. And it, I think it stands about, stands at about uh, 18% or thereabouts. So um, they filed a Schedule 13D or C uh, disclosure with the SEC, and in it, it says that's where it's closed. It's going to buy 950,000 shares of Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina, ha Wilhelmina International has about 5.1 million shares outstanding or floated, so which is a very small float. So we, we do, you would expect a lot of volatility because of uh, all of that. So, so far, the first purchase was made on the 1st of April. And when it was made, it was bought at a price lower than, it was a price uh, lower than what the short and long terminate trend lines were indicating. So, and then it also did again, it also purchased again and on, on the 9th of April, which is also at a, at a point where the stock was trading below its short and intermediate trend line. So it is carefully, carefully doing that so far, but we're not saying this is what it's doing, but that's not anything wrong or anything like that, you know? So the trend is there's a good chance that this disclosure is there. And what is in this, what's the, the substance of that disclosure is that they will, make these purchases after in uh, 90 day uh, intervals so so far it has done two now the first one is 235,000 the second one i believe was the same 235,000 so it will do another one again in 90 days so that will be how things are going i believe so currently currently yes um it, that is probably what people, market participants are looking at right now. There's a good chance that it might also retrace again. You know, so it's currently yeah, quite handy. You know, not uh, trading at double digits at the moment, so it's relatively quite affordable. Yes. Okay. So. We are looking at uh, Wilhelmina right now, but we looked at uh, o SOS earlier on. So let's return and see what's going on with SOS. SOS is currently, it's you know, gradually picking up a bit, you know. Last time we were here was at 1.33, so it's gradually extending. And you may have uh, you may have seen yourself this piece written by in Investor Place. They're not even talking about that loss. They're talking about uh, um, SOS uh, having the need to increase capacity and all that stuff. So, so um, I guess those the, those guys are overlooking all of those lawsuits and uh, looking at the looking at. I mean, just getting positive, really. I think. You know, so, if you're there, thank you for joining us. You know, can let us have a look at any stock you want us to have a look at. But we are looking at right now at SOS. We'll be looking at Wilhelmina. We'll be looking at Noan and CLDF. So let's look at NUAN. Okay, Nuance Communications Inc. is currently up 21.59%, but currently retracing now, getting very bearish at the moment. I think there's uh, news out there concerning it. it has an interest, has attracted the interest of uh, Microsoft, I believe. Nuance International, sorry, Nuance Communications. So while that is coming up, we, we just remain here. It's quite active. This is the pre-market. So Nuance is quite active at the moment. You can see the, the price, the uh, graphics on the screen here is uh, moving. Um, but currently retracing, getting bearish for a long time was very much uh, consolidating on this on a particular fixed price at uh, 55.71 or thereabouts. So 
it's definitely active. Uh, let's let's try and see what's going on with it. Not nothing has come up again. It's still. Uh, Let's refresh this. So while we are there, we can always uh, have a look at uh, other ones. CRDF. Cadiff Oncology is up to 2.48 percent, not a lot. So we were trying to look at Nuance, so we're going to return to Nuance. Up currently 20.8 percent, just retracing to some extent. So we will. We're not getting anything on this. So while we're waiting for nuance, we'll return to see what's going on with SOS. So it's advancing now and extending up 6.29%. So maybe the squeeze is on. We're going to also try and find out what the shot report for um, SOS is. So let's quickly conclude with the uh, nuance. Market cap of thirteen point zero that's thirteen billion dollars. Okay, you can see that that's the news. It says Microsoft to acquire Nuance Communications in nineteen point seven billion all cash deal. We can see that. That's the big news here. That's the big news of the day. Definitely. A lot of uh, much of the news, much everything you can see here is all fresh day. All of them are. All the piece of news you can you are looking at right now are all pretty much fr fresh. It says uh, Microsoft said today it has acquired it has agreed to acquire cloud and artificial intelligence intelligence software provider Nuance Communications for fifty six dollars per share in cash in a deal valued at nineteen point seven billion, inclusive of Nuance uh, net debt. So let's see what's the price of Nuance. Uh, okay, this is not Nuance. That's the SOS. So let's go up again and have a look at the price. Current left for the five point five eight. So yes, um, so it's trying to. Add, add, it's, add, it has agreed to acquire it at fifty six dollars. Okay, so the deal could include could, uh, should close by the end of the calendar year, subject to approval by nuances, uh, shareholders, and regulators, according to a news release from both companies. Microsoft expects the acquisition to be minimally dilutive in fiscal year 2022 and to be creative in fiscal year 2023 to non gap uh per share. Okay. Mark Benjamin will remain CEO of Nuance, the company added. So So yes, so the, that price hasn't even been reached yet, $56. So yes, that is what we're looking at right now. So we would just return to Nuance here. So let's quickly look at Nuance before we... This is up, it's for some reason it's retracing. Okay, so... Market participants are selling off or something like that, but this is this is uh, currently in the pre-market session. So while we are here, we can always return and uh, look at SOS again. It's up six point two nine percent, and we said we were going to have a look at the OTC short report. Yeah. Okay. If you're there, thank you very much for joining us. Give us a thumbs up if you can. So we're trying to find the OTC shot report for um,
OTC short report for SOS. Oops, no fate, no symbol found. Okay. Okay, it's it's actually not an OTC stock. I think that is why we can't find anything concerning it. So we uh, we're going to ignore it. So we're going to use um, let's see ne naked shot. Let's see naked shot reports dot com. We might be able to see something here. Naked shot reports dot com. SOS. Okay, yes, we have. We do, we do, we do. I think. Yes, we do. We have. We have some figure on SOS. So as of the ninth of um, April, which was Friday, it was the short volume was seven point. Um, nine four, so it is about forty five percent of the volume was sold short. And outside the seventh, the that was what outside the ninth seventh, the volume the it was fifty three point nine six. So of late, it has been since since the seventh of April, it has continued to be close to or above fifty percent short. Yeah. So that's what's going on for um, SOS Limited. Short interests close to half. I said Friday, the 9th of April. And the, that day, the volume was quite light. The volume was about 17.63 million. On the 7th, it was 133.322 million. So, yeah. But we we can we we don't exactly know what the entire short interest is, so we can always go back to short squeeze and see what's going on there. It says it's uh, increased. It increased by forty seven percent. So it's about 14.16 million. So let's uh, see if we can find the, do they have the shares outstanding? Share the shares float. So we can see, we can return here. Um, Charles Schwab's platform and see if we can find the shares outstanding. So it's 17.951 million shares. 17.951 million so um, we have 14.16 million that was did, did we see that right well well you do the maths it's nearly the entire float let's see 14.160 out of 17.951 17.951 okay 78% 78 78 78%. you 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 can see that 78% of the stock was is currently uh, sold short so currently it has uh, broken through the 10 day trend line based on this one minute model and it's still very much I would say it's still very much bullish. You can see that the MACD has also reflected that by converging with the signal line. Momentum is quite flat, but it's still strong. So that uh, gain has been um, reduced slightly. It's currently now 5.33% now. So, but um, the folks at Investor Place are not exactly skeptical. They're not even saying anything concerning the lawsuits. You can see what they're saying here. So a stock is both uh, way overvalued and 
and too high risk to take a chance so in this piece they're not even talking about the lawsuits against them you know so it says, it says a crypto mining stock are the net beneficiaries of the amazing bitcoin bull run that shows no sign of stopping however one that gets a lot of however one that often gets lost in the shuffle is SOS's stock the company uh, first mined its Bitcoin at the end of February and investors are now betting that they may have a multi-bag on their hands. However, a word of caution, although the company is installing crypto mining machines rapidly, we still need to see some solid fundamentals to justify SOS uh, stock rising more than 250% year to date. So is there something these guys know? These guys are at the investor place? Is there something to know? I mean, you would we would expect them to be talking about this lawsuit, the same lawsuit that uh, brought the stock down. We don't we don't see anything any anything from them, you know. So SOS has continued to try to march on. Oh, I can see it's up now six point one percent, but it's getting some resistance from that ten ten day trend line. So yeah, that that's what's going on. So while we're here, we can always return and see what's going on with um, WHLM. If you're there, thank you very much for joining us. Give us a thumbs up and uh, share it if you, if, you, if you can as well. So we the mean international up 63.73%. So if you didn't hear or if you don't know yet, uh, there is a company that has come out and said it has agreed to acquire up to 18% of the mean international. We mean international obviously is the company, the, the, the uh, modeling company. Yes. So. You may have also heard about the stock, the company itself, but and this is indeed their stock. So it has a, a float of about five million shares. So we will just return to Charles Schwab um, and get this summary. So I recommend that you sign up with uh, Charles, Charles Schwab and get trading. I know you you definitely have your own platforms, but uh, you're trading with, but this is the most re reliable. I bet you. Uh, it's not a promotion. I'm not uh, getting paid for seeing that, but it's by far the best based on what we've seen so far. You can see uh, shares of standings 5.157 million. And we can see that disclosure here. That's it here. That's the, the disclosure. Uh, that's it today. Yes, this was filed today. It says form SC13DA, Bulimian International, filed by Newcastle Park. Oh, this is even a new one. This is a new a new disclosure. This is the one we are talking about, Retail E-Commerce Ventures Limited. So we'll look at this first of all and then return and have a look at the other one. This was as at uh, the 9th of April. So let's get down to page seven. Yes, that's what it's saying here. On April 1st, REV Holdings entered a purchase agreement. Okay, that was the day they entered that, that agreement. So, and then Pursuant to the purchase agreement, REV Holdings purchased okay two hundred thirty-seven thousand on that day. On that day, and on that day after purchasing that uh, two hundred thirty-seven thousand shares, the, the stock spiked. Let's see. Let's have a look. Once that was done, that was here. The stock spiked to about it was at five dollars twenty-one and rose to. $5.89 so what would that be close to or more than 10% so and then as at the close of the session of the 9th so let's see if we can find anything so it says uh, on the first it did that subsequent to the initial closing RBV Holdings shall purchase uh, an additional 200 37,590 days following the initial closing, an additional uh, 237,500 uh, shares, 90 days following the immediate preceding holdings. So oh, it hasn't even, uh, it has only purchased 237,000. So with, and then again, on the 9th, it made that disclosure, it filed that disclosure and the spike, the stock has, spiked to 64%, 64.11%. 64 so it still has way more stocks to buy. And uh, market participants are 
really, really, really trying to get involved. I mean, why wouldn't you want to get involved? It has, I believe, 900,000 so far to purchase, but it has only purchased 237,000. It would do another 237,000, uh, maybe 90 days from April 1st. That will be sometime. Um, will be sometime in July. That's the next time it would do that. So who knows? Market participants will, may continue to get involved with, with the stock to ensure that um, they will benefit from that um, price infusion. So, I mean, technically that is a short, that's money locked up into the stock. And if, if they respect that agreement, then that's money locked up in the stock, very much like a, like a short interest. So if they will continue to buy those stocks, then that's really good. That's really good, you know. So let, let's even try and have a look at the average volumes for Lemina International. The average volumes, you can see that. You can see the, the average 10-day volume is 112,000. You know, 12,119, 90 days, 17,475. So if you, if you, if, if all these are anything to go by, why wouldn't you, uh, why wouldn't the stock rise? Why wouldn't the stock move? You know, and it has a small volatility. It has a small f uh, float of 5.17 million. So if you're purchasing 237,000, you are acquiring, um, what would that be? Um, ten percent will be five hundred thousand. So you're acquiring five percent, close to five, more than five percent of the stock when you when you're acquiring two hundred, when you're buying two hundred and thirty-seven thousand. That's one person alone. So definitely, five percent of five percent of any uh, stock in one transaction alone, definitely will move things. Will definitely move things. And um, yeah, I mean, 5%, especially of this sort of uh, float, it will definitely uh, cost the stock to get going and get moving. So let's see what people are saying here. Yeah. So let's return and see the other disclosure the current disclosure this is the this is as at the 9th of of uh, april so this will be the current one and that will take us if we open the link here so this is a third a said shadow 13 13 da let's see if there's anything any material details there there might be. Okay, yes, there it there it is. Purpose of transaction. Okay, it says uh, effective April first, twenty twenty one, the mutual support agreement dated August twenty fifth, twenty two thousand and eight among uh, NP Data Esk Lorex Investments and these folks Brad Krasner and Krasner Family Investments as amended uh, was mutually terminated by the remaining parties there too. The termination of the Lorex MSA became effective upon the sale of two hundred and thirty seven thousand five hundred shares of common stock from Lorex to REV Alpha Holdings, a Delaware uh, limited company, at a price of $10 per share, pursuant to a purchase agreement between Lorex and um, REVA AH. REVA AH has the right to acquire within 60 days at $10 per share and voting rights with respect to another 712,500 shares of common stock presently owned by Lorex. On March 31st, 2021, NP executed a mutual support agreement with uh, REVAH with respect to the election of directors on the board of the company. Okay, so it's getting a bit boring. So 
let's see whether there's uh, more details concerning this identity and, back, and uh, background we just I think we're very much keen on the what they're purchasing interests in interest in securities of the company the percentage of uh, shares of the common stock reported to be owned by the reporting persons based upon five point one five seven shares outstanding which is the total number of shares outstanding stood out number of outstanding shares of common stock reported in the companies from 10k for the year ended december 31 20 21 2020 i suppose as filed with the sec on march 16 2021 as of the date this amendment number 10 np is in is the record owner of 2.43 uh, million shares of the common stock representing approximately 47.1% of the issued and uh, outstanding common stock NCM, NCG, NCMS and the Schwartz Trust and Mr. Schwartz may also be deemed to be beneficially to beneficially own the shares of common stock directly owned by NP. However, each of NCM, NCG, NCMS and the Schwartz Trust and Mr. Schwartz disclaims beneficial ownership of the shares held by NP except to the extent of their respective pecuniary, pecuniary interest therein. So, okay, so they're just basically disclosing, disclosing, disclosing. I not, don't exactly know if they have actually made any purchases themselves. So, maybe not. So, apparently this is this guy's own 41 percent i think that's what we can conclude here yes as of march uh no not this so as of, as of the date in this uh, amendment number 10 number number 11 mp is the record owner of, of 2.43 uh, million shares which approximately is what 7.1 percent of the company so okay yeah okay so we will uh, return and see what's going on with SOS so Wilhelmina is continue to has continued to extend currently at 67 percent so let's look at SOS SOS is has lost some steam now down 4.95 percent currently trading below its short and intermediate trend lines the market is opening in about two minutes or rather a minute and some fraction so we'll see how things uh, turn out when the market just opens in a few few seconds that's what it is so while we are looking at that we can go ahead and look at nuance and see whether it has extended from yeah, it's great, 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 uh, trying to uh, um, 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 resume its or retreat or extend uh, back to where it was before currently trading below its short and intermediate trend lines currently momentum is uh, trying to pick up as well this is currently at 18.27 uh, percent so it has the Microsoft has agreed to buy the company at uh, fifty-seven dollars per, sh per share, and it's currently at forty-five dollars point five eight. So, still has some room to go. And this stock, if you feel it is too expensive for you, there are ways to play it. You can um, get involved with the options. And uh, once the market resumes, I can always show you things you can do to get involved with uh, nuance. You know, even though they are very much risky. So let's look at uh, CRDF. Cardiff Oncology up 1.4%. Not that interesting. I think we're going to stick with uh, SOS. So the market is going to. Resume in a few minutes now. So SOS currently up 5.9%. So we will uncheck this 
looks okay the market has just resumed let's uncheck the post and pre-markets boxes and get the live yes you can see that the extension this is about 5.7 percent extension that's what you're looking at right here so it's we'll see whether what's going to happen so you can see my d has suddenly uh, broken through the signal line and extending the signal line is extending as well we will see if we can just put in a few retracement and extension levels Fibonacci while we can so we, let's pick it up from there we'll bring it all the way down here to see how things turn out okay let's make it uh, yes let's see so it's getting res a resistance from that uh, level 5.560 the volume weighted average price is the only um, indicator that is uh, closest close by all the others are still very much below so what you're looking at right now is uh, SOS Limited, a one minute live model of uh, the stock. Okay, you want us to look at um, SPCB? Okay, we'll, have to, we'll look at that for you. SPCB. Okay. SPCB. Supercom Limited down 5.87%. So, what's uh, is there any news concerning this stock? So, well, currently based on this one-minute model, it's uh, it has just seriously um, crashed down. So, let's look at the daily model to see what's going on there. The daily model, okay, based on the daily model, it's trading below all of its short and intermediate trend lines, and I think it's presenting a a buy and entry uh, signal here so um, I don't exactly know what the fundamentals are for Supercom and I um, I don't even I can't even remember what what it is they do but all I know is that this five roughly six percent has presented a the uh, buying opportunity technically based on the daily models the one minute model so yeah based on just that alone I can tell you if you're bold enough to jump in you can do so yeah, yeah. this definitely has presented a buying opportunity and with uh, with time if it doesn't if it continues to remain um, a bit uh, sluggish some of these trend lines will come and uh, catch up with it and that opportunity will fly off from the window so but this is based on the on the daily model so this is based on the one minute model the daily model will also it's also active as well it's also active you know so if um yeah if things continues to move it, it will also move as well so based on this one minute model i think yes it's still still there but they're all gradually coming downwards to catch up with it but also for some reason, okay, yes, this has to be the case. This the MACD definitely has to be below the signal line because the stock is trading below its uh, short term trend line, the shortest of them all, which is the 10 day. MACD, the volume is also sorry, the momentum is also trying to pick up because you know can the stock is uh, has trying to has started to extend again. So um, if you are confident about the company of the stock and you are keen to do so, you know, by all means jump in. Uh, and uh, don't uh, put in a lot of money just put as much you can and also leave some on the sidelines to act when things uh, change you know so that you can have something else to say or do concerning the stock so let's have a look at the five minute model see what's going on there but it's there that opportunity is still there based on the five minute model the opportunity is still there but the live vests or if you permit me to say that is definitely the one minute model 
it tells you by far what is currently going on all the others are not uh, a bit more delayed but this is currently what is going on by the minute it can be any it can be any um, closer that's the closest you can have it by just one minute so right now still there but the you can see this 10 day trend line has continued to retrace again to catch up with it and so too the others you can see that so market participants are observing this and they are putting their money it's money that is moving this so yeah if you want to get involved yeah the opportunity is uh, still there and it's gradually uh, gradually gradually um, moving away okay so we can always have a look and see what's going on with supercom on uh, the Charles Schwab platform that tool we, we just used that right we looked at right now over there is the, also from Charles Schwab so let's see SPCB supercom there might be some news give us a thumbs up if you can thank you very much okay let's see if there's any news okay there isn't any fresh news concerning supercom so is there any, any fresh news so you can also see as well based on the daily model but this is us yeah this is uh, not uh, exactly the current that's updated but as at the ninth it definitely was presenting a buying opportunity so it's still presenting just based on this daily model that opportunity is still there so let's return and see what's going on I can see that it has uh, now broken through the 10 day trend line so it is gradually gradually escaping with th with time it will all of these will catch up or it will catch up with them so but most for sure what is certain is that the market participants have sensed this and have started to put money in there and push the stock up it's now down only 3.57 percent yeah so SPCB Supercom Limited okay so before we move on okay, um, it has also you know tried to as uh, ticked over again maybe to retrace further but um, for sure, you know, people have taken off money at the table, so they're probably scalping the stock right now. But always, always, they are, that's what you know. This always done. So um, SOS is currently up 3.98 percent. Has trace got some serious resistance from that 5.57 uh, dollars level. So it's currently trading below its. Um, just slightly below its uh, 10 day trend line so wait, let's see what's going on with uh, Wilhelmina Holdings One minute, wait, okay 94 percent you can see that Wilhelmina International up 90 roughly 93 percent and uh, extending So with that small float, it has about 5.1 million shares. It will definitely have uh, the sort of movements we're looking at right now. So yeah, it pres it's a highly volatile stock. So really interesting to watch. Uh, let's even have a look and see whether it has uh, it trades options. That would be interesting. Okay, no options for Wilhelmina Holdings. Sorry, Wilhelmina International. 
it's an option so you only have to trade it this way this is currently now trading in between its uh, short term trend lines the 10 and the 20 day trend line the MACD has started to reflect that and it's trying to converge with the, its signal line so it has lost about 20% already just within this few seconds so definitely a highly volatile stock so obviously people are taking money off the, off the table as it has reached this high of $10.38 $10 So with Amina Holdings uh, gradually retracing, he may just, I think might might my call it to some extent a um, a consolidation, a pullback, slight pullback, slight pullback. Okay, trading halted. Okay, see, trading halted. So let's see, let's see, let's see what what's going on with um, um, with Amina Holdings. Whether we're gonna find uh, short volumes, short and short figures. WHLM so no figures yet for today you can see as of the 9th of April it was only 316 shares traded it uh, were sold or rather were traded only 15 was sold sold, sold shot so but that will be different now because that's a different day altogether. That is this this the data on on, on this site only comes probably at the as a, at, at the end of the day, I believe, or maybe still still too soon to have any figures yet. So we will um, look at this short squeeze and see what's going on here concerning WHLM. Okay, short interest decreased by 67%. So not uh, nothing fascinating, but it, it mustn't be. It mustn't be that um, the SEC the, the trading is halted because of shots. It may be because it's just uh, um, running up so much gain. I guess you know. So, but um, the news there is that you know um, another company is going to acquire. A total of about twenty-eight percent of the the uh, shares floated. Already, one company alone owns forty-seven percent. So another one, REV Ventures, or, or something like that. We have been interrupted. Let's see whether we are still trading. We're still live. Fingers crossed. We had a slight disconnection. We hope we're still on. Oh no, sorry. The that is the not. Uh, it's um, it's the. This is what we're looking at right now. That is disconnected. Okay, so. Yes, Widemina is uh, still halted. So while we're there, we're going to look at SOS and see what's going on there. SOS is currently up now, 7%. It has breached that 5.57 5 level and is extending now, up 7.43%. And the folks at Investor Place, you can see they paste the route today. They are not talking about the lawsuit. They're not talking about that. Can see this is what this was written today it says uh, SLA stock is both way overvalued and too high risk to take a chance yes that's what they're saying and if you want to if you want to know what the short interest has been of late no sorry that's not where we're supposed to go close to 50 percent of the shares that were traded as at the 9th of April where sold shot. You can see that the regular volume is about 17.637 but the share sold shot was about 45.45% 45 45 of that 17 million. 
so that is asap the ninth so we will get more figures today but we're seeing an extension today who knows where what the short interest will be like so it's currently extending up 8.57 and extending and extending interesting interesting So approximately up to up nine about nine percent now so far. So the, the folks at uh, Investor Place are saying that um, SOS needs to you know they need to invest more and uh, install more rigs and all that stuff. You know, they, they most they trade mostly Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we can see it's roughly ten percent now. It's going crazy. If you ever thought this wasn't good to move again. Now you can see what's going on right now with SOS Limited extending and extending. It has it has broken through the next target is looking looking at right now is the two hundred sixty one percent extension level. My D is obviously above the signal line. Momentum is. Getting tried to get strong and see that broken through the 161%. Sorry, 161% extension level. See that we're fortunate enough to have picked it up from when we did. We picked it up from here, 55.57 dollars. That's where that was our base point, that was a peak off point, and we brought it all the way down to 5.2. Or rather, five point three dollars, which will be the base. Uh, okay, the base will be five point two one. So it's currently now extending, reached up to eleven percent now and extending. Yeah, if you're there, give us a thumbs up. Thanks you. Thank you very much for joining us in this uh, live session. SOS Limited currently up 10.5% extending broken through the 161.8% percent extension level and rising but also getting some resistance at that level as well While we're at it, we can always have a look at uh, Wilhelmina as well. This has retraced, retraced now. It was at some point, okay, yes. Once, okay, it wasn't halted and has uh, since uh, retraced about roughly 40%. So that's interesting. I mean, that's that's usually expected when once uh, that happens, once the uh, halting is uh, lifted. So nuance got an interest from Microsoft is currently up 16.87% now so let's return to SOS it's uh, retraced as well up 9.14% uh, So yes, let's see whether the HLM okay has um, done anything of late. It's just uh, it's just remained there, trading in be trade trading in between the short and, in and intermediate trend lines. Momentum just collapsed. MACD dropped through the 10-day trend line, 
usually of course you may have uh, seen that uh, when the trading is halted or, or lifted as the case may be it tends to uh, people get people panic and sell you know sometimes they are prevented from buying they can they only allowed to sell and those who are not strong enough may sell and this may have been what we saw here or indeed it could even be shots short sellers who came in here and sold some some um, borrowed the stock and sold it and all that stuff so but the stock is uh, really 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 small and um, yeah so apparently I understand that um, if you sell, if you play, if you use limit orders to uh, to sell your shares, or if you place limit orders, that is where you are. You're making your shares available for short sellers to borrow it. You know, because when you place those limit orders, I believe the shares are now they now become available, and then short sellers borrow them. And the short sellers obviously are, uh, well, indeed, I wouldn't say that it's not, um, it's hedge funds or people who, who have uh, special skills and the the um, permissions and all that stuff. It's It includes you and I, myself as well. So, but I think it makes sense when you when you use limit orders, you open up uh, the shares, your own, your own shares to be borrowed. Indeed, if you, if they're borrowed, it doesn't mean that you don't you know you no longer have control over them. But um, I can you can take have a scen take a scenario where about ten percent of all people of all the market participants in a certain stock are uh, selling it uh, have, have placed um, limit orders, you know. So and um, you can see those that all that volume will be available to be sold short and you know that will the you know present an opportunity for them to be shot and once they're shuttered it tends to also complicate things you know so the advice is always use the market order to sell shares so that you can limit the number of shares that are available to for people to for market but other market participants to shot to take advantage to to shot to shut the stock, the stock or as the case may be. So, um, with the Manila International, uh, I'm currently up 55.92%. So, uh, let's have look, let's look at SOS and see what's going on as well. Still, still very much strong. Just getting some resistance. It hasn't registered any uh, price above this 161.8 extension level, which was which is which whose price is at 57.9. Uh, five seven dollars yeah if you're there thank you very much for joining us give us a thumbs up so SOS is uh, getting interesting has managed to eke out up to 11% so far in this session it's currently trading in between its short and intermediate trend lines currently So the other stock we are looking at is Nuance, Nuance Communication. It has gotten an interest from Microsoft. So if you are not very keen on trading, you've not spent keen on uh, spending $53 on uh, this stock, you can always look at it from this perspective, which is going to obviously be based on the options. Yes, let's uh, look at SPCB Nuance. You can try the options. So we we'll look at the options. So no one's up seventeen point oh point one one. I think it's gradually starting to extend. So the we have the options here. We will get all of them, all of them. So this is the 16th, April 16th. This will expire on Friday, April the 16th. So one way you can 
definitely trade the stock is you can get involved by maybe this is obviously very risky okay you can sell this sell this to open uh, maybe buy this to uh, open so sell this select this to sell and buy this to sell so we'll, we'll see what what uh, what it is like let's uh, have a look I'm new to trading and bought five shares of GameStop average by 175 and I don't know if I will continue to if it will continue to go down any advice for okay okay um, well let's okay like, while we are there we will just quickly look at uh, GameStop for you it's down 8.19% so so you said you bought the stock at 100 cent average five shares of average by 175 okay so it has since retraced now so you are um 175 so i just this is definitely up so I, I if you bought it during this session um well you have um yeah you have bought, probably bought it at, at, at a high if it's um today you bought it you know so what's going to happen is that uh, there's a good chance there's absolutely there's a chance that you can still extend up to that level so fingers crossed you know um, if you still have money left on you um, you can what you can do is um, see now that it's retracing it's trading below its 10 day trend line which is a short term trend line if I, as a matter of fact all of its trend lines the 10 day the 20 day 50 day 200 day trend line so it's currently trading at a discount you can obviously see it says it's has it's down roughly nine percent so it's getting cheaper people are taking money off their stock so sometimes you know with with uh, gamestop and indeed other all, all other stocks and uh, they are trying to take profits and once that happens it gets cheaper and some of them get back again so fingers crossed there's a good chance it will also re retrace beyond that one 175 you bought them and maybe you make some profit so but um, I would even say um, if you still have money left on you you can continue to observe how things happen now um, you can even even take advantage and because you're already in it already you can even even see if you can buy more um, now that it's even cheaper you know so that way you will see that um, if in the end that once things improve and it's begin it begins to extend it could even be during the session or indeed another section another session I mean I'm just being positive that it will continue it will extend again and probably reach what the price you were talking about so um, I mean obviously uh, GameStop is of great interest to a lot of market participants so if that is the case um, if you have if you enter again and uh, maybe pick up you know um, some some posi a position or two or some more shares you stand it you stand a good chance of um, um, benefiting when it extends again so um, let's have a look at the let's have a look at the should I sell and go on okay well it seems you're you're getting a bit jittery about um, about about it so what well, it's up to you if you sell you're going to have a loss um but if you're not if you're not very keen on staying on by all means do what you want to do you know so um let's look at the okay apparently let's see whether we can get short interests on gamestop So as at uh, is April 9th, it was that is seven points, roughly forty percent of the shares that, that that traded on that day were sold short. Today it will also be high. So I'm only trying to tell you that um, money is coming off the table at the moment concerning GameStop. It may also go back into it. You can see it; it's gradually moving up. This is not to say that from now on it will 
extend and uh, go beyond 175 so um, I've actually said what I've in indicated here is that you know currently it's actually even though you are you know very much uh, jittery about um, your position you're, you're making it you're, you're running into a loss now um, a buying opportunity an opportunity to even buy and consolidate your position to ensure that you know you probably even take advantage of what is going on right now you know to you know um, see if you can make something out but if you're not confident about it you can by all means do what you want to do sell it and move into some other stock so but the great list the lesson there is always try to buy when the stock is cheap is it's trading below its short and intermediate trend lines when it's trading at, 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 a, at a discount to its uh, trend lines you know so technically those are entry points so but the, the problem is is at one point would it be okay for you to pick up the your position when it is trading at, at a discount what is the bottom but who i mean who knows you know so those are decisions you have to determine yourself uh, but currently it's uh, at some point during the session we saw it, it uh, traded below 10 10 percent and 10 percent is usually a correction so i mean from from that 10 percent it's you can begin to um, consider an entry so if you really want to get involved at, at all so um yeah if you want to sell sell if you want to buy more now that it's uh, still uh, presenting some buying opportunity by all means do so um well i don't know about cryptos um if you um if you want to get involved with cryptos you know you can use a small amount of money you know and just uh, play some of them you know um not i would even maybe suggest uh, buying um um uh, crypto related stocks you know um this is one of them sos but uh, it's uh, there, there are some issues concerning the stock there's there are other ones or the more established ones you can maybe buy their etfs and stuff like that but um, as always always buy if you're going to buy them buy them when they're cheaper not when they are um, skyrocketing when they're hot you know so i would i would say if you want to get involved with cryptos buy the stocks that are related with cryptos or mining cryptos yet also they they do diligence on some of those uh, crypto stocks they, are, they usually don't turn out to be very wholesome a lot of them have um, or rather people who um, research firms that uh, conduct uh, due, due, due diligence tend to come out with um, all sort of things and uh, um, they, they go ahead and uh, shut the stocks and all that stuff so um it's it's risky or I mean, either way you know so left to me i wouldn't buy um cryptos i would rather mine them than to buy them yeah so right now we are looking at uh, sos limited up 6.11 percent at some point it reached 11 percent now it has retraced down to the 100% extension level which is at uh, $5.57 or thereabouts so uh, it got really interesting earlier on so we were looking at we're looking at Wilhelmina International we're trying to see how we can no sorry not Wilhelmina International nuance sorry Nuance Communications. So we're trying to see what if you can't if you're not keen on uh, spending fifty three dollars per share. You know, but this is it's you can try the options out but the options options are obviously very very short termish and highly risky so you need to be warned you need to have that one in place so yes yeah, so you can see it's currently microsoft wants to buy the company at um 
fifty something dollars per share. So easily you can select this and um, select this as well. So that means you probably sell this, sell the option, this fifty-five strike. Very soon it will come into into the money, and also when it's in when it, when it's stop when the option is in the money and expires in the money, you have to exercise it at the end of the when it when it expires. So that's 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 something you need to be aware. And even if you don't if you need, if you, if you have the money or not, your market your your broker will um, do everything. Put your account in the red to exercise your exercise that um, contract. So currently, one of the ways to get involved is this. You we have selected the, those. So we go up here and we see. So you can always it's you know option trading is available on um, most platforms. So on Charles Schwab, it's you know really easy to use. So um, you can this will be you sell to open and uh, buy to open. So you can see you have a credit of ten ten dollars. So you will you will only get involved with this with only ten dollars, I believe. Yes, ten dollars. So the philosophy in that is that you are you probably believe the stock will continue to extend or thereabout. So um, you are selling it at the uh, but at the same time again you 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 probably think you probably believe it's going to advance, but at the same time as well you are not sure whether it will also continue to do so so you now say let me set it at $55 and buy it at $65 so at least um, if it doesn't do well you have you've sold something at $55 and then if it does well you have bought something at least at $65 so and it's only going to cost you about $10 they may also require you to have uh, more funds in your account to um, ensure that um, you are I mean, you don't uh, put them, they themselves in um, the difficulty you know, because um, all of these sorts, all of these transactions, they it causes them to also put in their own resources. So this is one way you can get involved with and trade um, nuance. So So let's return and see what's going on with uh, SOS. It's up 4.54, retracing and retracing and retracing. Currently down to it's currently below its 61.8% retracement level. So, so let's look at the Wilhelmina Limited. So Wilhelmina International. At some point it was halted. So at some point it reached nearly 100% so it has lost up close to half of what it gained at some point and it was yes it was halted what that was when the retracement this that's what that was when we we saw this serious retracement and there's a good chance that short sellers are involved in this and those who have been placing limit orders may have um, given them that opportunity to short the stock you know So and a lot of people, a lot of uh, people who are trading the stock, I believe, are so sophisticated. There's um, the disclosure out there that a certain company will continue to pick up a significant chunk of the stock from time to time. So I think it has done so as of the first of April, and when it did that, the stock spiked about uh, roughly twelve percent or thereabout, and then um, as of the ninth of April, which was Friday, Friday last week, it it it, it disclosed that it was going to it disclosed all of those details, and then you know we saw this spike, you know, so and um, given all of, given all of those disclosures, the stock is a small float, about five point one million. So this is definitely there's a good chance this is a stock that will continue to uh, be remain volatile, up and down, up and down. You know, there's a lot more money to come into the stock. And it only has a float of about five 
1.1 million. So it is definitely a stock that will be of great interest to market participants. I mean, we have seen the stock being, we've seen it uh, halted already, you know. Um, that means it's people are watching it. People are definitely watching it. And um, another thing is that you can see the volume is has has really increased. You know, as at uh, Friday the 9th of April, yeah, I think we, the volume was about 300 shares and they're about or they're about. So, um, yes, things are really interesting here on um, with Amina. So let's return and see what's going on with SOS. It's retracing and retracing. People are gradually taking more money of the stock. So you can see that um, uh, this is a create some pattern here, it's gradually retracing. But at some point, also the 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 bottom might be reached, and we might begin to see another extension. We need to be to see another extension, and what we're looking at right now is that uh, if people who are involved in stock are making the mistake of trying to sell SOS limited at limit at, uh, with limit orders you know assuming they're expecting the stock to you know rise to about ten dollars or thereabout and they have gone ahead to place those orders at ten dollars you know what short sellers will come and do is just you know they, those stocks have now become available and they will just borrow them and even sell them at even the current price we're looking at right now sell them at uh, 5.79 you know but indeed yeah and if they do that um yes the stock will retrace but it's 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 they, they they themselves are at risk because more and more a wave a strong buying wave could come in and they will be forced to you know buy back but we've seen them take an upper hand they, we've seen short sellers take an upper hand on their on a lot of penny stocks but um we'll see how it pans out on sos limited So if you're there, can we get a thumbs up, please? Give us a like and let's get going. Thank you very much for participating in this session. So SOS has just broken through its 10 day trend line and it's trying, gradually trying to extend. So in the interim, we can see it as we have a, a brief bottom at $5.45.1. It may not uh, remain there. It may not remain the, the bottom for, for long. It may still retrace, but currently we have it at uh, 5.451 currently. So SOS up 4.19%. At some point it was up 11% at this sort of levels, the 161.8 point, point, extension level. My, uh, momentum is trying to improve a little bit. MACD is below the signal line since it broke through since that uh, halt was lifted, it broke through the signal line and retraced. Yeah. It's uh, gradually accelerating again. See? So this this bottom, uh, rather this bottom seems seem to be holding. So it's uh, creating a very nice pattern here. Very nice pattern. Yeah, if you're there, thank you very much for participating in this session. Give us a thumbs up if you can, and uh, let's get going. SOS Limited up 
33% currently. So let's look at uh, Willy Mina while we can. That's another stock that uh, has appreciated so much today. So it's currently at 52.88% currently. But momentum is very strong and extending. You can see that momentum based on this one minute model. So Nuance is also another one we are looking at right now. It's just moving sideways. Momentum is flat. MACD is below the signal line, not um, pointing in, in any direction because the stock itself is not as well. So SOS Limited up 5.71% and extending. Broken, broke through that 100% extension level trying to re extend again to so see if we can breach that 161.8% extension level which will put it at about 11% gain Yeah, thank you very much. If you just join us, give us a thumbs up and let us know any stock you want us to have a look at and we will do so. So SOS is retracing now. broken through the 10 day trend line which is also where the 74.6 76 74.4 extension level of we have is at the moment So this bottom we called is still there, still in place, still intact at $5.451 currently. So it hasn't been uh, challenged yet. It hasn't been replaced. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Give us a thumbs up if you can. Thank you. we probably saw here might uh, I mean you can't rule out that uh, short interests were involved in this slight retracement but as it concerns uh, Willy Mina there's a good chance that you know this retracement we saw probably once um, the halt was lifted may have there's a good chance that um, a lot of short sellers may have may have been involved in this retracement so um, why wouldn't they be involved the stock was at this point up 90 roughly 100 percent so easily easily you know short sellers would just definitely jump in on any stock that is uh, doing well and this is not to say that short sellers are bad people or anything short sellers are also folks like you as well some of them are not um hedge funds some of them are just strictly bearish you know the stock is has extended trading at a premium to its short and intermediate trend lines naturally it's you know that's what has to be done just as you will buy when a stock has traded and is trading at a discount you will buy so too they will sell when it has extended so the short sellers must not be or are not only hedge funds and they are like and billionaires and you know or those who well, want to take advantage of uh, the inexperiences of a lot of market but retail uh, market participants currently so the 
the uh, one of the things you can do to ensure that your shares are not borrowed is as they have always said is to place your orders um, what is called place your use market orders to sell your shares so um, instead of um, speculating or you know yeah speculating that the stock will reach a certain level so that you can sell and then you go and place an order a limit order at that level so that once once the stock reaches there to sell the short sellers especially those they, they are they, uh, this in this case these are more sophisticated uh, short, short sellers they have links to the market makers they go and once once you make once you place um, those those uh, orders your shares are now you know have no longer have temporarily unavailable to you they're now tied and they now become they now become available to uh, short sellers and that's how they begin to take advantage of all that so and when you place those limit orders you are simply telling them i am very much bullish i am i'm looking at the stock rising and then they bet they, they, they bet against you the bet against you they jump in and you know sweeping all those shares you have tend out to be sold at very high prices or higher prices you know they they're literally eating your ambition that's what it is so i'm digressing now i'm uh, making them look bad but um to some extent um, it can look that way uh, but indeed market makers might be uh, um, um, maybe maybe aiding them but are they really aiding them I mean, you already know you already know the trick now, you know. Um, a lot of people, a lot of market participants do that, and my, I myself have done that before. I have placed uh, limit orders way ahead of uh, even something, hundred percent from the end my entry uh, point, and yes, indeed, at some point they will fill up, fill out, you know. But what happens in a lot of all those cases, and especially in the current. Um, scheme of things is that once you do that you have made your shares available and people will use them and how are they going to use them it is by you know it's either buying them and if they have to buy them they have to buy them at your own price you have stick you have you have placed so if that's one thing they can do the other one is to sell it and they may sell it at a lower price so those are two, th two things that happen and that those are the sort of things that um, limit orders those, those are things that aids uh, short selling because they read you know the you may not you have that data that's where they are probably collaborating I may be wrong co collaborating with um, market market makers or indeed the market makers themselves may be doing that because they are in the business to make money as well so you know they they see all of those limit orders and then they they have to make money they start chopping up you know you know start you know eating your ambition you know to make their own money you know but what, what if they sell them they still have to buy them back you know so but if it's stock maybe if the stock hasn't really rallied maybe the, the um if it's a stock that has a huge short interest and hasn't rallied them, maybe they haven't really bought them back. So it would also take you and other market participants to make them to buy them, buy them back. So SOS has retraced now, retracing down, 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 retracing only a gain of 2.86% or rather 3%. At some point it was 11%. Okay. Um, Nuan, all right, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll look at Nuan again, yes. For Nuan, we are suggesting if you are not keen, you can always try the options. This is what's going on, it's just been very quiet. See, see what we put, we, we did here, you know, even though it is uh, highly risky and uh, very much short term, you know, we simply said you can get involved with Nuance by selling the 2055 strike 55 uh, this is a vertical call spread sell the 55 uh, obviously this is going to be one transaction select the 55 strike to sell sell to open and then select the 65 uh, strike to buy to buy to open so it will just only cost you about 
this will be it will cost you ten dollars to enter one contract so the philosophy in this is that assuming the okay let's look at that see where that what's going on it's currently at 16.28 percent nothing has really changed and uh, the, the philosophy of in this is that assuming um, this stock is going to continue to extend but you're not sure you're not sure whether it's going to continue to do that at least let me sell it at uh, 55 dollars and then if it eventually does extend at least i have uh, I have a position that i i bought at uh, 65 dollars 65 dollars 65 so that way yes um you're just uh, to some extent maybe to some extent to some yeah you may call it a hedge as such but it may not really be that much of a hedge so yeah that's how you can play it um, um, but the risk there is that um, if the stock it's definitely going to expire but they, they do expire and if you're going to get involved in this april 16th uh, call options they expire on friday so if the stock um, if that's if any of them indeed especially the buy the one the one you bought to open is um in the money and it expires then you may be forced to um, exercise that contract so you have to be aware of all of these things so um if you don't it's only going to cost you ten dollars to get into the one of these contracts but if you do, are not careful, it could cost you more as well. So, if you want to get involved, this is one way you can get involved. But outside that, um, I wouldn't. Um, it's, it's up sixteen point three six percent currently. It's it's already too hot for anybody. I wouldn't recommend anybody to get involved to, with the stock right now. So, look at uh, the daily model. The daily model is you can see that, you know. The opportunity has since um, escaped, no longer there. Okay, this is, um, let's say, well, do we have any dates here? As uh, we don't have any dates, so you can see that currently trading above all of its short and intermediate trend lines. So, normally, I, I mean, left to me, I wouldn't say I, it, I would recommend that you just buy the stock right now, you know, wait for it to pull back or consider dates and all that stuff so I know yes uh, Microsoft is, is keen on the company so well um, would it would, would, would it extend any further there's a good chance it could extend any further but um, it's really too hot based on our opinion Yes, do you th uh, you think guys always reach it today? Okay, let's have a look at uh, say at SOS. Okay. SOS is uh, okay. Well, never say never. There's a good chance it can do that, but we don't exactly know. You know. What is definitely attracting market participants is uh, the short volumes as at um, Friday the 9th of April, up, 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 I believe up to 47% of the entire transaction was um, was, um, sh was sold short, so that's uh, OTC, short report. Sorry, we're supposed to do it here. Sorry. So you can see, yes, I sat um, April 9th, you see, forty five percent of the of all the shares that were sold were sold short. So all of those all of them may have uh, gone back in into the stock today, but you know we we don't exactly know, but um, what is definitely certain is that um, the short interest is quite significant. It's um, you know it will continue to attract people on, until probably it uh, fizzles out completely. So it at some point it may it may it's possible that it can reach up to eight eight dollars. Um, but um, you have to I don't know if you have seen this piece written by Investor Place. 
they are currently not even talking about the lawsuits they have, the class action lawsuit they, they have against them. They are only saying that crypto, um, um, they're saying that um, SOS, uh, um, already saying, however, a word of caution, although the company is installing crypto mining machines rapidly, we will still need to see some solid fundamentals just justify this, the um, um, stock rise more than 200%, more than 250% year to date. So. Um, there's well, there's a word of caution there, you know. So um, based on what these guys are saying, and it is important because a lot of market participants are watching. Um, it's they're simply saying yes. They even though it hasn't even reached that eight dollars and some fraction, it's currently uh, overvalued at the moment. Yeah, and the fundamentals are also a bit um, iffy. You know. So. For sure, with this huge amount of um, sh short interests swirling around it, it can easily, even within this session we are looking at right now, you know, it can easily extend up to it's eight dollars and some fraction. Yeah, but we don't, we can't exactly say. We don't know. So um, if you're there, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. And if you have any stock you want us to have a look at, we can. But we are currently looking at um, SOS. It has retraced from this high. At this point, it was uh, up 11.11%, 11 .11%, which is at uh, $5.7931. Currently down at 5.39 at the moment. So we have other interesting ones we are looking at, WHLM. Wilhelmina uh, also reached nearly 96% and it was halted and we believe at definitely at such prices, at such levels, short interests uh, kicked in and they began to retrace. Currently moving has moved, I've had pretty much during this session it has moved sideways, you know. So, um, and if we had this sort of, uh, if short sellers were involved then we are, we are definitely looking at uh, cases where people placed orders to sell the stock at uh, lim with limit orders meaning the shares will become available for short sellers to take advantage uh, um, so it's uh, one of the ways we actually indirectly or, or, or knowingly aid uh, the short interests or aid the, the um, retracement of stocks we, we somehow unconsciously do that by using um, our various selling orders to do so. So that's uh, what's going on right now with uh, Wilhelmina. It's up 41.6%. At some point it was up 96%. And retreating was also halted at some point. So we're looking at hot volumes at uh, as high as 13,640. And that's at uh, Friday the 9th of April. The highest volume was, the total volume was not more than 400, 400 shares. Today's a totally different picture. And um, the short, in the float on the stock is 5.1 million. So that is, if you combine all of these things, it will be a stock. Definitely this is not, this will continue, this stock will continue to um, be of interest to a lot of market participants. And also as well, um, there is a company that is trying to buy about 28% of the company and it will do it to continue to buy this 5% um, of the stock every 90 days. So it has done, it did the first one as at the 9th, 1st of April. So the next one will be in July. So having all of those things in mind, you will see that um, the stock will continue to um, be to remain volatile it may not be that every it may not remain volatile every day but it is definitely definitely a stock to watch and we'll continue to do our best to cover the stock for you you know so currently now it is up 40.31 percent and i believe if this stock retraces if it at any any session this or a sub or subsequent sessions it retraces there's a good chance that it will also there's a good chance it will also um, extend again because um, the interest in it has just been made public and um, it's, it is definitely established that money is coming into the stock. So 
it will be of great interest to a lot of people and yeah like we said we'll continue to observe and indeed a lot of the interests you know on the stock will um, may it may increase and you know for sure it is a stock to watch So yes, if you're there, thank you very much. Uh, give us a thumbs up and let's get going. We need we need one like. We haven't gotten any like any like. Just give us one if you can. Thank you. So yes, we are currently looking currently looking at um, SOS. It is retracing as well. So indeed, SOS is is also another stock that has a heavy short interest, you know, a heavy daily short interest. As at Friday, the forty five percent of the entire shares that were sold or were traded were sold short so um, who knows whether as part of that is what fueled the, the 11 percent uh, extension we saw earlier on in this session but um, it has gradually gradually retraced and indeed um, yeah they could also uh, what we're looking at this retracement we're looking at you know may have involved uh, more short selling as well you know so and uh, all of these short settings occur as a result of amongst other things our uh, uh, as a result of our own own actions you know when we place limit orders to have them sold you know we literally give the shares away to our um, to the brokers to uh, to our platforms and the platforms will give it to the market makers who are uh, who are effectively the the folks on the frontier, the, the uh, broker dealers, they're the ones that ultimately place the the transactions. When, when we do all of all of those things, um, they themselves might even go ahead and uh, take our shares and sell them. You know, they do that. You know, so it's not illegal. It's what what they do. They have to make money. It's not um, it's not um, it's not a case of being fair or not. But that's what happens. You know. So one way you, you can do your bit is don't place all of those uh, limit orders, just observe and if you want to sell, use a market order and, and once you place a market order, it will definitely go through right away. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. We have two likes now. Thank you very much. So if you have any stock you want us to have a look at, Put it in there and uh, let's see. So somebody wanted us to look at SPCB earlier on. It's currently retracing down 6.49%. It still has to continue to present present a buying opportunity based on the one minute model and based on the daily model. Definitely, definitely uh, buying opportunity in the short and intermediate period. It's the buy now for sure. Down 6.49%. Supercom Limited. Supercom Limited, yes. So let's return to SOS and see how things are going there. It's, it's, it's gradually extending, it's gradually extending. So yes, it's gradually inching up. up uh, 2.67 percent now up three percent and up momentum is uh, very strong currently at uh, 77 81.34 percent so it's gradually each inching up and inching up 
So next level will be the 61.8% extension level at $5.43, but it's getting some resistance there. So yes, ACOS is of great interest to a lot of market participants, participants because you know obviously the stock is um, crypto related, and um, and there's then this the short interest and also the lawsuit against them. You know some um, short sellers uh, alleged that um, they are pretty, uh, you know fraudsters and all that stuff. You know, but um, the folks at Investor Place have not even paid any credence to that. They're just simply saying, okay, three likes, thank you, thank you. The folks at Investor Place are not paid, paying any credence to all of those uh, fraud uh, cases. They're only saying that um, um, they need, that the stock is overvalued, that they need to match their fundamentals to bring up, raise, I mean, raise their game to meet the the uh, market cap, the valuations that uh, market participants have placed on the stock. So uh, that's what's going on. Yeah, we have three likes. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. We can always make it 10 likes. I mean, we have enough um, um, peasants there to do that. So as much as you can, give your own like and let's get going. We have three now. We can always make it four. Um, you know, take it up to 10. So SOS Limited is up 2.5% currently. And the in, I think the most interesting is, is uh, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina is up 389 at some point. At this point, it was up about 96% and it was halted and it retraced. So obviously Wilhelmina is 47% of this whole stock, which is about uh, 5.1 million currently in available is held by one company and in that company there are a lot of individuals so and then another company is now trying to buy roughly 28 percent so it has now bought five percent it bought that five percent as at the as at the first of april and you do do the, do another one another five percent by july so all of those disclosures it seems has attracted a lot of uh, market participants to get involved with the stock. So we'll see how things go, what the short interest is currently at right now. Um, um, if you combine this news about the um, um, uh, um, purchase agreements and also the fact that it has this small float, you see that this is a, definitely a stock to watch. And the purchase agreements, to some extent, are very much like um, um, money locked in as a, as a result of uh, short interests because let's assume or believe that uh, those purchase agreements will be honored then we can simply say that the more all that money has been all that 28 percent has been locked into the stock so um, yeah it has been locked into the stock but the reality is that um, what is what is going to happen is that um will will this will this the company that will buy that 28 percent uh coming up uh, has bought five percent now so it has about um 23 more percent to buy will that company continue to buy the the, the stock of illumina at um, increasing prices who knows you know so that is that is where the question that's one of the questions so um there's a good chance there's a good chance that um, we'll continue to see retracements. Uh, there's a chance that that will happen so that, um, um, I mean, so that you can participate in the future, subsequent um, subsequent uh, purchases because 5%, uh, when you demand 5% of any stock, there's a good chance it will move, it will move uh, it will definitely move. I can't tell you how much it's going to move, but with a, a small float of only 5.1 million shares, yes, it, there's a good chance it will move uh, significantly. You know. um, but maybe in, in subsequent sessions, if the interest in Wilhelmina remains high, you are looking at 17,894 17 shares now, then maybe all of those transactions wouldn't uh, mean much as such. Because we, what we are looking at right now is that um, um, what we what we had as at the the 
uh, 9th of April, which was Friday, last trading session, we only had about um, not, not more than 400 shares that were traded. And today we are trading, we're talking about over, over how many, I mean, the shares have, that 5 million has maybe have been bought and sold too many times. So let's let's even let's even try and see whether we can get a picture of what what it is like what um, of the number of shares that have uh, traded it traded so far so let's um look at this so yeah if you can always if you can sign up on charles Schwab, very by five very good platform they are much sure they've been around for decades they know what they're doing this is not to say that um, other platforms like fidelity Vanguard and they are like, uh, and indeed, uh, um, Robin Hood are not uh, competent. So, let's uh, look at um, okay, okay, see that 30 million, 30 million have traded so far. So a lot of shares have uh, exchange hands you know, so we have a float of 5.1 5.157 that means what does that tell you people have been selling and buying and selling and buying and selling and buying okay see that so look at down here you can see the average volume is about not more than eighteen thousand. you know so let's see what the volume is seen here see today's volume is on track to be heavier than usual with uh, 13.1 first seven million shares having traded so far the unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. They still go of an indicator is positive and suggests that uh, buyers are presently more active than sellers. So yes, 10-day volatility is 157.46%. Uh, so yeah, but in subsequent sessions, we may not see, um, well, what am I saying? We may still see because what we are looking at is a float of only 5.147 so this will continue to the demand will always continue to make the stock go crazy you know so uh, let's update this to bring it to 12. so you, you have one person alone that will buy five percent of the stock as at july so if you have all of, all of those things in, in mind and um you know with market participants involved you know yeah the stock will continue to um get remain will remain continue to remain volatile so you can see that it, the stock was presenting a very good buying opportunity as at the 9th of um, april friday the 9th it was at 525 at that at that sort of price it was trading below all of its short and intermediate trend lines and then lo and behold that disclosure was uh was made to the was was made available to the public as at the end of the the trading session and then today in the post market and in the pre market it's spiked it's uh, spiked so we'll see how things uh, um, pan out in subsequent sessions and we'll also get more and more um, short volumes or short interest volumes concerning the stock in uh, subsequent sessions but it has continued to retrace and retrace and who knows whether this also involves a uh, short selling or not, you know. So, what is interesting is the the shots, the shot, the float is small, and people are interested. Yeah. So SOS now has um, practically lost everything. Now it's now down up zero point, roughly not even up to one percent. So it should be interesting to to see to see how things uh, pan out. Whether um, you know, market seller, market participants will get in and uh, move the stock up. So um, I'm, I'm coming back again with the um, the use of um, of uh, limit orders. Imagine a case where you you know really feel really positive about SOS and you go go ahead and place. Um, um a limit order to sell the stock at let's say let's say twelve dollars you know all that stock will you have will be tied away tied out and um, taken away from you and the market market um, maker will give it to somebody else or they themselves will sell it you know I mean, they have to do that because they are 
they have to um, make money and uh, the whole dynamics of it all up you know of, of it all of it all you know i think um, when you sell they buy and all that stuff so when you want to sell they probably have to borrow i mean one of those things you know so um uh, the point is that uh, I've, I've I've been I'm repeating myself in is that um, we contribute to some of these stocks retracing because we because of our ambitions you know and um, we are we, we're allowed to have all those ambitions you know but um, it's a cycle that um, comes to also harm us. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, um, yeah. SOS uh, holding out, currently at 0.3% um, gain, so who knows what is behind uh, this retracement we are looking at right now. Let's update ourselves with uh, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina is um, gradually trying to extend again up 42.22%. Nuance is also making some move as well. Up 17.21%. So SOS is also trying to inch up again, inch up again, up 1.52 now. So it's lost about 10% from it this high. It was at um, at this point it was about 11%. So let's see, even try and see whether we can get um, some of the um, stocks in the move. So if you're there, thank you very much for participating. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you can. We have only three likes there. Can we make it four? Thank you. So Nuance is uh, one of the most active. So that's, uh, yeah. Wilhelmina obviously is the biggest uh, gainer at the moment. The other one is, um, I think it's warrants. The other one, it will be Evalu Bioscience. Let's look at this EVLO. Velo Biosciences is up 23.66%. The 
let's see if we can find it in any piece of news so let's update this to the 12th Uh, we have any news okay yes okay yeah, it was upgraded I think says um, yeah Jeffrey's upgrades if you buy a buy sciences to buy from hold at just price I get to eighteen dollars from eleven and amongst other things it has extended to eighteen dollars okay so it has just um, slightly extended and let's see do we have yes we do I think and also this is also yet another biotech stock that was presenting a buying opportunity and lo and behold um, we now the buying opportunity and um, those who bought have been rewarded yeah Velo Biosciences so let's see whether we can get any short interest on e on this EVLO. Yeah, you can see us at Friday, ten percent, ten thousand. Let's see what have 58.83 percent of the shot of the stock was sold short as at Friday the 9th. So yeah, and also see as well. See, um, we shorted Nasdaq stocks. SOS is part of it. So I see. And also part of the NYSC as well. So these are the heavily shorted stocks. MC let's look at Kemi let's see what Kemi is saying well, it's uh, not so much okay 260,000 for 5.24% so Evalo Biosciences up to 24.70 so let's return to SOS it is uh, only up 0.38 percent retraced literally lost all that it gained at some point during this session Lemina is uh, currently up for the three point one seven percent. Trading in between the ten day and the sorry, trading in between the short and intermediate trend lines, but in this case below the fifty day trend line or the intermediate trend line. Yes, if you're if you if you're there, thank you very much for participating in this session. Give us a thumbs up if you can. Um, we're currently looking at SOS and Wilhelmina Limited and Wilhelmina International. So we can always have a look at uh, GameStop. We did have a look at GameStop. It was uh, down or it's currently down ten point zero, rather down ten point. 
AMC is down 7.76. A lot of the other stocks, you can see the indexes are all in the red. So, uh, American Battery Metals down 1.67%. Sun Hydrogen down 4.27%. Ascent Solar up 0.91%. So yeah, let's return to SOS. It's uh, slightly up, slightly up, roughly 1% up. So it's gradually gaining ground now, up 1.1, 1 1.05, okay, it's down now, momentum um, retracing, bearish at the moment, so yeah. SOS is definitely of interest to a lot of market participants because it's, it's a, uh, it's um a crypto mining stock it's mining um, uh, Bitcoin and then the Ethereum that's uh, we have the figures here from um, stock um, investor place rather it says in March it installed its second fleet of 5,000 crypto mining rigs bringing its total capacity to 353 peta hashes per sh per second for mining Bitcoin and 707 giga hashes per second for mining Ethereum so um, currently has 5,000 crypto mining rigs. So, but um, for some reason, these guys at the investor place are not seeing anything about the class action lawsuits they have. So you can see this piece was written today, the 12th of April. It says the SOS stock is both way overvalued and too high risk to take a chance. Maybe the high risk they are talking about is the, the fraud allegations that um, have been made against them. Uh, but um, a lot of money has gone into the stock. It's currently up 250% year to date. So um, does, does it still have more room to go? Well, I would say if you go by what is going on right now, it's this sort of price. This is all, this is one of the things market participants will be looking at and, um, and other things. They're looking at that and also looking at crypto. They are looking at the shorts, short um, um, volumes and all that stuff. You know, so indeed some of those things can even push it to, uh, to appreciate uh, way more than uh, it has done so the critical thing there is the fundamentals the due, 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 due diligence and um, this 5000 5000 rigs they are talking about are they really the owners because those uh, shots show those uh, research firms are uh, saying that um, some of these are not exactly theirs you know, so let, let's even try and see what these figures are, what these figures are saying. This is us at uh, the 15th of March. Yeah. So just SOS Limited announced today that they have successfully installed its fleet of 5,000 crypto mining shares and mining, mining rigs together with its prior fleet of 5,000 mining rigs. The company expects the combined fleet to have the capacity to calculate an average of 353 petahashes per share you know, and for Bitcoin and 707 gigahashes per second for Ethereum. These hash rates are subject to numerous factors including downtime for maintenance, reconfiguration and other variable factors and that may materially impact computing com performance in the future. So yeah, you know, I, I believe these are part of the um, this disclosures or the part of the claims that um, SOS have SOS has made that that is being disputed that they are being sued for, um, you know. 
so yes if you are going to get involved with SRS you need to um, be careful but currently it's up 1.71% We are going to take a break from the month for at the moment. We're going to come back and continue to cover um, SOS and uh, indeed William. Thank you very much for joining us in this session. Give us a thumbs up if you can.